All right. So these and that one there, these are my Power Mac G4s. Oh, they're very heavy. This one is the, the Quicksilver. It smells like burning when I try and turn it on. Power supply is dead on that one. This is the original one. And uh, this one works just fine, except for one thing, the hard drive is dead on it. This is the hard drive, so it doesn't boot. I don't have a spare IDE hard drive laying around, so I will eventually get this one working, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about What's the heaviest one? Oh, the mirror drive door. And it's called that because it's got mirror drive doors on it. Isn't that clever? This is the most powerful one. It works. And yeah, that's what this video is about. But uh, what could you actually do with a 15 year old Mac like this one right here? Uh, one thing that sets these apart from current Macs that run on Intel x86 is that these run PowerPC architecture, which is a thing made by IBM. They use it in the, the Wii U. It's completely different. These cannot run Windows at all, which can be a bit of a problem. Not, not the running Windows part, but PowerPC can be a problem because the architecture is just completely different. So even if a program works for Mac OS 10.4, doesn't necessarily mean it'll work on one of these systems. Despite these limitations, these can still do quite a few things today. First thing to do was connect to the internet. I tried using this, which is a little Netgear wireless USB, and it did not work plug and play. I went on Netgear's website, there wasn't any Mac OS drivers, let alone PowerPC Mac drivers. So I sacrificed the Ethernet cord from my desktop and plugged this into my desktop instead and used the internet via Ethernet. Thank God it was plug and play because I have a Mac OS 9 machine sitting behind me that you can't see that doesn't do that. I actually have to put in stuff and it's annoying and we're spoiled today just being able to plug stuff in. Browsing the internet on these 15-year-old Macs is a little bit complicated because the pre-installed version of Safari is very slow and does not work with anything that I tried. So I found out that Firefox 3.0 works just fine on PowerPC Macs. And after about 30 minutes of searching, I found the download link for however old Firefox 3.0 is found it on a really beautiful website. The link is here somewhere or in the description. The compatibility of different websites on this ancient version of Firefox is very iffy. You're not guaranteed for anything to work. Um, so here's how some of the websites that I tested behaved. YouTube does not work. Twitter is mobile for some reason. Reddit does this. Amazon appears to work just fine though, so uh, if you wanted to shop. Netflix is just black. Video editing on this ancient Mac is possible. Don't expect HD. I tried to import 1080p footage from my camera to the Mac, and it said it was gonna take 300 hours, and I was not gonna wait 300 hours. So I turned the settings down to 480p, and it only took like five minutes, which is still a while still longer than Premiere Pro on my PC, but uh, it's a lot shorter than 300 hours. Now, once I did get the videos imported, editing them was pretty easy, not too slow, although it did slow down sometimes and the render took 10 minutes or so. But uh, I still think that it's Quite interesting that you're able to edit video on this Mac. Photoshop, on the other hand, worked very well. It worked flawlessly. It's Photoshop CS3, and I made a beautiful piece of art with it. 
you really wanted to use this Power Mac G4 as a Photoshop machine, you could because it works, like I said before, it works perfectly. I had no hiccups with it. I saved gaming for last uh, because Steam, the, the Steam website, steampower.com, does not load at all on this Mac, or at least on the version of Firefox that it runs. I didn't really put any research into why it didn't work, but that's, I don't really care. So instead I took the PC behind me and, and I downloaded Steam for Mac and then put the files on a USB, plugged the USB into the Mac, and when I opened the DMG file, the Steam installer had an actual like little circle with a cross through it. Despite Steam not working, the Mac of course can run Doom using ZDoom. They do have a compatible version for Mac OS 10.4 that runs on PowerPC. So I just copied the WAD file and the ZDoom installer from my desktop to the Mac and worked just fine. It's Doom, so it was great. Uh, if you want to play Doom on it, then you can because toasters can run Doom. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and have a good day.